Hello guys, uh, Christmas is already here and and that means that we're gonna have to do a lot of traveling. So we're gonna be traveling uh, to different places. I'm gonna give you some vocabulary about uh, traveling and transportation and all that kind of stuff that is gonna be very useful. Alright, first of all, um, we normally travel by plane, uh, we travel by car, we travel by ship, we travel by bicycle, bike, we travel by motorcycle, uh, mot motorbike, we travel by bus, or sometimes we will just fly to another destination, to other countries. We will fly, so we say I fly, I drive, I sailed, if you will go on a boat then you will sail, or if you will be riding a horse then you will ride the horse, okay? I go on horse. I go on foot. If you're gonna be walking on foot, then you have to say I go on foot or I go by foot. I'm gonna give you some useful travel expressions. For example, um, the means of transport. We have roads, we have the streets, we have the highways, we have the ports for the ships, we have the airports for the planes, if you're talking about airports, maybe you're going to another country, you might want to check the arrival time, you might want to check departure time, okay? The arrival time is the time that it's going to take for you to get to your destination, and the departure time is the time that it's going to take for you to go from your current location to your final destination. Once you get to the airport, maybe you want to check out the information desk. Every airport has an information desk. Okay, you can ask the clerk at the desk for assistance. All right, sometimes um, we commute. To commute is to, is to make the same journey, like on an everyday basics, between work and home, to come and go every day. So sometimes it's exhausting to be commuting, especially in Taiwan because of a lot of scooters and a lot of cars. Right, then we have journey. A journey is um, traveling from one place to another. And normally we say journey when it comes, uh, when we drive a car. So if you're driving by car, you can say, I love going on long journeys. To journey is to travel somewhere. Now, going back to the airport vocabulary, you will find passport, okay? Passport. Then you might want to see if you want to go on vacation or if you are going on business. Then you want to check if you're traveling alone or you're traveling with family. You can also find a custom. Custom is the place at the, at the port or at the airport or the border where the traveler's uh, bags are looked at to find out if there is any goods being carried illegally from other countries. Customs officer is the person whose job is to look inside your bags to make sure that you don't carry anything illegal, any substances or, or weapons or something like that. So maybe they will ask you if you have something to declare. If you have something to declare, it means that you have to tell them if you're carrying something that you are not supposed to, like chemicals, uh, some kind of electronics, uh, knives, scissors, maybe something like that. Declare means to tell them, okay? So declare. You can say there is nothing to declare, nothing to declare. Normally, if you're traveling for Christmas, if you have a lot of baggage, a lot of baggage, you have to use the baggage card, card, okay? Normally, the airport will provide you with the baggage card for you to carry your luggage and your baggages. Or even before that, you have to buy a ticket, a ticket, okay? And you need to make sure that it's a one-way ticket or if it's a one-way ticket means that you're going to depart but you don't know when you're going to return and two-way ticket is that you have a, a departure time and then you have a returning time that would be like a round trip ticket okay so an airplane is also called an aircraft or a plane now inside the airplane you will have First class, business class, economy class, you will have different type of classes. 
and you will be able to choose at the time that you buy the ticket you will have an option to say whether you want a first class ticket business class or economy class uh, if you want the first class is expensive if you want business class it's the medium and economy is like the the lowest price now another word you might want to check is takeoff or land takeoff is the departure time at what time the plane is going to depart takeoff and the land is at what time the plane is going to arrive that is called the land okay so you can say what time does the plane take off or what time does the plane land checking you need to check in your luggages at the airport okay you need to check in uh, before traveling pretty much i think we covered the basic vocabulary all right that'd be all for today guys thank you very much i hope you find this vocabulary helpful now with the christmas coming I bet some of you guys will go abroad or something. So, you know, take care of yourself. I'll see you next week.